Hey, what it do, y'all? Welcome to Phantom Frequency. We get into all different types of uh, topics on pop culture here on the channel. We do reviews, rankings, reactions, and today is no different. We're doing a reaction to the first official trailer and first look at any footage of this big John Wick spinoff, Ballerina, that they've been talking about for almost two years now, starring Anna de Armas in the lead role. Um, it's supposed to tie into that uh, Ballerina school that John Wick visited in, I think it was part three? Um, with Angelica Houston's character, who was a, apparently his foster parent and kind of took care of him over the years. So getting to see some aspects of it, maybe Angelica Houston's character and how that all ties in a little bit more with the continental world and things like that. And see if maybe even our man John Wick himself even pops up in this thing. I'm curious to see what this really is going to be. Um, I don't remember exactly when this is coming out, but I think it's coming out next year. But let's dive in and see what this hell this is all about. Do you like your dogs? I know a school where they teach dances. I could take you there if you'd like. Okay. It's the old Winston. To stop the assassin, you must become the assassin. You will always be weaker. You will Origin always story be small. There's a jelly piece. You want to win? Improvise. Adapt. Cheat. Mm. Welcome to the Continental. Hey, rest in peace, man. The Ruskaroma. What a pleasure to see you again. Okay. Uh huh. That's that's clever. That's clever. You have no idea what you just walked into. Oh, I don't know where Reed is in there. I like that guy. They killed my father. Oh. All I right. Yeah. They're dead. Fate. Is a very humbling thing. Damn, that's sick. You are him. Huh? The one they call the Baba Yaga. What? How do I start doing what you do? Looks like you already have. Uh, all right, well, the cat's out of the bag on that one. You know what, man? That shit looks dope, bro. I was getting kind of worried because they had delayed this movie and all that stuff. And we hadn't seen anything from it. But unless this movie's a lot sloppier than this trailer's making it out to be... This looks badass, man. And I like that she does have some kind of emotional thing that is driving the story similar to the first John Wick, right? Where it's her father, more of a familial connection in that sense. Um, and her going out there to try to get revenge and all that. And, and him and John Wick himself even saying, like, shit, you're already doing this shit. See, this is what I'm talking about with the John Wick universe. And, and I'm hoping this takes place at a different point in the timeline where it's not after part four because that's going to really bum me out. I'm not going to, it's not going to make me write off the movie. I'm not one of those kind of fanboys, but the ending of John Wick 4 was great, man. He went out like a badass. He finally got the, he just, he, he passed on. He's dead. He gets to live in peace now. He got his revenge. He, he, he did it, right? You know, and getting to go into a spinoff, which I think they announced one with Donnie Yen's character, getting to do a spinoff with Anna de Armas's new character here. And if this is actually really cool and ties in and actually is successful, this is what I want to see them do expand the world. Don't just do John Wick again. You could do the same action style and stuff, but expand the world a little bit. Do a few spinoffs and you can keep the franchise going. You know what I mean? Or if they want to dive into the past in some of these and bring in John Wick in a past tense, things that tie in between two and three, things of that nature, like an alien Romulus. You know what I mean? That could really work for the channel. I mean, <laughs> for the channel. That could really work for the franchise. And I think that's the way to expand this thing. And even getting into this, the action scenes look good. 
And an Armist is performance seems pretty good in here. It doesn't seem like anything Oscar level, but it doesn't seem bad. You know what I'm saying? And I want to really see more of those dialogue scenes and really get to see who her character is and what her character is more about, you know, outside of just the John Wick universe type of things. But the way that it's tying into the universe, depending on the timeline of it, really makes a lot of sense. They're bringing in the right characters. It all feels like the same tone of the first kind of two kind of John Wicks, more so the first one. Just based off the trailer, it doesn't seem so over the top as like parts two, three, and four, which I love. I love the John Wick series to death, but I do enjoy the fact that they do seem to be kind of grounding this a little bit more, showing her beginnings and showing her become the assassin and kind of do an origin story, a phase one MCU style type thing, showing her become the ballerina, become kind of that, that new kind of Baba Yaga type character. And I think building out the world and making these assassin entities, if you will, out there these these known assassins it kind of just gives it its own flavor and like i said just makes it feel like a lived in world that you could dive into with these assassins almost makes it feel like a comic book series that never existed that they're adapting on film so i dig it i really love this trailer i'm super hyped on this movie man like uh, until like i'm always, always trying to temper my expectations but i'm excited for this now this is on my anticipated list I'm really actually getting into wanting to see this and I can't wait to see what it's going to be. And I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping even more so now that they nail this and they can expand the lore of John Wick in different characters in different ways in new environments and really do something cool with it. So y'all let me know what you thought about this trailer down below. I loved it as you guys can see, but whether you hate it, loved it or fell somewhere in the middle, we always love having those discussions with you guys. We also got a trailer reaction for the last of us. If you're a video game fan, or if you just love great TV, HBO max, baby, it's coming back 2025, the last of a season two trailer reactions up on the channel right now. We also dropped our Agatha all along review for episode three. We're doing weekly review recaps for that. So don't miss it. We got the penguin dropping by Friday morning. So don't be missing out on that for episode two. And we got a ton of cool spooky season stuff right around the corner. So make sure you're clicking the buttons below the video. You're tapped in with the feed. You're tapped in with Phantom Frequency so you don't miss any of the dopeness we got going here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if this is your first time joining us, thanks for checking us out and giving us a shot. Hope to be seeing a lot more of you. And for those of you returners, keep coming back, y'all. And we love having you. And let's just keep growing this channel, man. So until next time, make sure you stay safe, stay tuned, and don't sleep.